What is going on, everybody? My name is Nathan Orlando Frost, back here again to bring you guys my weekly episode predictions for this week's upcoming episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, this is The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 7, entitled Crossed. Alright guys, so as always, my reviews and prediction videos do include spoilers up until this point, so obviously I can't really predict the next episode of The Walking Dead uh, without, you know, a little bit of spoiling in previous episodes. So if you're not caught up, definitely don't watch. And uh, I don't know why you'd want to know what happens, anyways, in future episodes of The Walking Dead if you haven't watched it. Uh, but anyway, episode 7 crossed. As always, we're going to start off with the synopsis of the episode, and I'm very, very excited about it. So, here we go. Between holding down the church and going on a rescue mission, our group is spread pretty thin. Is this going to be the breaking point? So, uh, what it's basically talking about is between holding down the church, which is obviously kind of Carl's group, you know, in the sneak peeks and in the promos that we've seen, uh, which we've seen a few, we've seen a few, uh, basically it's kind of revealed that uh, Carl stays behind and kind of leads the church uh, group, uh, basically. There's, uh, I think, three of them in total, maybe four, uh, with Judith, of course. Uh, basically, Carl's staying behind, Michonne is staying behind, and... Uh, the good old priest, Father Gabriel, is staying behind as well at the church. And they're all kind of taking care of Judith. Uh, we get to see Carl in one of the sneak peeks actually try to start to teach Gabriel about, you know, how to survive and how to defend himself and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, he puts a lot of knives on the ground and basically says, you know, pick one. you got to learn how to use them and uh, stuff like this. Uh, anywho. Uh, that's what happens. The reason why I think they're leaving Michonne there is because she's pretty crap with firearms. You know, she's never really a good firearm specialist. You know, she doesn't know how to shoot very well. And she's definitely better with her katana. And when there's not this human threat about it, definitely the katana is the way to go. But uh, when there is a human threat, obviously you need people that are good with guns. Because a human threat, they can shoot back. And a, a katana is just not going to cut it. That... <laughs> that was a pun. I, I, that was an unintentional pun. Uh, anyways, that's that's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, that's why I think they kept Michonne home is because of her close range with her katana and being able to defend the group from walkers and you know stuff like that. Walkers don't shoot back. You know, it's kind of easier uh, to defend with a bladed weapon than with a firearm. So that's why they left Michonne there uh, with Carl and Judith and uh, Gabriel. Well, he's just not trained. Uh, at all, so it would be kind of stupid and pointless sending him out there. Uh, so anyway, the people who go on this rescue mission, uh, and basically the rescue mission is about this, guys. This is what I'm predicting. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, but I'm just going to kind of, you know, spew it out there anyways. Basically, uh, last episode, Carol got hit by a car, obviously, and we know why now she got stretchered in to Slabtown. And uh, now basically, uh, Daryl and the kid, which is Noah... Uh, the colored kid that uh, basically was helping Beth and stuff like that in uh, Slab Town in Episode 4. Uh, him and Daryl are going back now. They they stole the truck and they're going back to their camp. And uh, this is where we kind of start off at Episode 3. The end of Episode 3 of Season 5 here. Uh, when Daryl basically came out of the woods and uh, you know told this person uh, behind him in the woods to, Hey, come on out. And anyways, it's going to be Noah, obviously. Anyways, they're back at the church, and they're going to tell Rick and the group basically about what happened, uh, you know, with this group in the city. You know, they're going to tell Rick and the group uh, basically what's going on. You know, we have to go on a rescue mission. We have to get Carol. Uh, Beth is there as well, and we know this, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So that's what's going to happen with that. So they're going to go on this rescue mission, and uh, I think everybody that's going is going to be Rick, Daryl, uh, Tyrese, Sasha, which I, I still don't know why they're bringing Tyrese, you know, I think he'd be a little better off, uh, back at the church, because he's, he's not a very good shot anyways, but I guess he can handle himself with the hammer, that, that's just another reason, though, that he should have been staying back at the church, it's because, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat with the hammer, and, you know, stuff like that, uh, not very good with the firearm, as we've seen before in previous episodes of The Walking Dead, especially when he was in Woodbury, uh, up on top of that, uh, up on top of the wall, basically, you know, target practicing, walkers, and he was just having an absolutely horrific time trying to do so. And uh, anyway, he, he's going with them, and uh, there's a few other people, I think, going as well. Uh, I think maybe one or two others. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, those are the main ones that we've really seen kind of going, you know, uh, Tyrese, Sasha, Daryl, and Rick. Uh, 
Anyways, that's what's happening there. And uh, they're going on this rescue mission. You know, it looks like they're in some sort of a gunfight. You know, they could be shooting at walkers. You know, Rick has his gun up. Uh, he actually has a suppressor on it, so I'm thinking they're going to be going in quiet, uh, trying to get the jump on him and stuff like that. Obviously, they don't know uh, Rick and the group is coming for them. Uh, you know, they had, they had no idea about Daryl uh, or Noah, for that matter. Uh, you know, finding each other, meeting up, and going back to actually get the group to do a rescue mission. Uh, you know, that's what's going to happen there. So those are those two groups, and we still obviously have Glenn and Abraham's group, uh, which are... They're on, they're on the road, but where are they hitting, guys, you know? Eugene in the last episode, which was episode 5, not last episode, but the last episode that was focused on them. Uh, episode 5, I believe, was entitled Self-Help. Uh, Eugene basically revealed that he, he wasn't a scientist, you know? There's no reason to go to D.C. now. Uh, he was just seeking help, he was seeking refuge, and he was seeking protection. And in order to get that, he had to lie. You know, you got to do what you got to do to survive in this world, but, you know, it's a pretty coward thing to do. But, hey, uh, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it, it's it's that plain and simple now. Uh, anyways, so it's kind of revealed now. Obviously, they don't need to go to D.C., so what are they planning? What exactly are they planning? Are they planning on going to D.C. anyways, because that's where they told Rick and the group that they were going? And they have no idea that Daryl and Carol might not have came back yet. Uh... You know, so they might think that Daryl and Carol are coming, they, they, maybe they already came back, and maybe they're already on their way to D.C., and if we turn back to the church, you know, obviously we can miss them, and we can just split out the group for good. So maybe they'll have this idea of going back to the church, or maybe they'll have the idea of just continuing onward uh, with where they were supposed to go, and kind of just try to meet them there, you know? Kind of just try to meet Rick and the group there, and then obviously explain to him that, you know, it was all kind of a... Uh, a lie from Eugene. Uh, good old Eugene. <laughs> he's going to be pretty hated uh, for a while now. At least that's what's happened in the comic books. You know, he's going to be pretty hated. Uh, there's going to be one or two characters that don't mind him. Uh, everybody else is going to be completely despising him. You know, absolutely just hating on him uh, with everything they got. You know, until he does something a little later in the series that's really, really, really beneficial to the group. I'm not going to spoil anything. That's from the comic book. Uh, if you guys read it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll t hopefully we'll get to see it in the show. You know, who knows? We we might, we might not. Who knows? Uh, so, anyways, that's that's that. You know, those that's the way the group is basically split up now. You know, there's Rick in the group uh, going on this rescue mission. There's Carl and Michonne and uh, Baby Judith and obviously Father Gabriel back at the church. I'm guessing Carl is going to try to teach him about survival. Try to get him to defend himself. Uh, I do think we're going to see a little bit of Glenn's group. I don't think we're going to see too much uh, of Glenn's group, but I do think we're going to see a little bit. You know, we might see uh, a few moments or, you know, maybe, maybe you know, a part of the episode, partially episode is going to be on them. You know, who really knows? But I really do think that this mission, uh, this rescue mission that Rick and the group is going on, Rick, Daryl, Tyree, Sasha, and I think, like I said, a few other people, uh, are going on, I think it's going to take priority, you know, over the uh, the entire episode. I think this is going to take priority, and then in the back cast, in the back, uh, in the back draw of everything, basically, it's going to be Carl's group uh, at the church, and then it's also going to be uh, Glenn and Abraham. We're going to see a few bits of Glenn and Abraham, I do believe, but not too much. Not too much to the extent where, the you know, half the episode is focused on them or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that, you know. Uh, what I do think is going to happen, in all honesty, uh, I think basically in this episode they're going to be kind of going back and forth, uh, sort of. Like, it's not going to be primarily focused, like, it's. I think it's going to be primarily focused on Rick's group, but it's not going to be, like, so primarily primarily focused that that's all we're going to see. Uh, you know, I think they're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, and I don't know for sure uh, if in this episode 7... Uh, that Rick and the group are actually going to make it to uh, the hospital and do this rescue mission, you know, stuff like that. I do think they're going to get close. Uh, maybe by the end of the episode, I do think they're going to be, like, probably right outside the fences and stuff like that. And then we're in store for a really, really good episode in the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, uh, Season 5. Uh, that's what I think is going to happen, in my personal opinion. And I think it's going to be pretty awesome, and I cannot wait for it. 
Uh, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I do think it's going to be kind of going back to what happened kind of in Season 3. Uh, season 3, Episode 7, uh, when Rick and the group basically went on this rescue mission to go get Glenn and Maggie from the governor uh, from Woodbury. On Episode 7, they made this entire voyage basically across uh, across the woods and you know everything like this to get to Woodbury. Uh, only to, at the end of the episode, kind of just be outside the fences of Woodbury, you know, kind of looking in and kind of just scouting it, you know, stuff like this. And then in episode eight, all hell broke loose. You know, they they penetrated the defenses of Woodbury. They kind of went in with their guns drawn and everything like this. You know, they they killed a few people. Uh, they knocked some poor innocent guy out that didn't really know who what he was getting into and stuff like that. Uh, they knocked him right the fuck out. And, uh, you know, basically they pulled off this rescue mission uh, in the mid-season finale. And I think that's kind of how they're going to go about it in this season as well. Uh, obviously, it's played kind of now for a different sort of threat. Uh, you know, Woodbury was kind of off to the side, you know. Uh, it, it was a little bit of a town, obviously, but it's not a giant city of Atlanta. You know, this is why I think it's going to be so much better uh, than what we've seen before. You know, it's not a giant city. Uh, I mean, it is a giant city in this episode, but I mean, in Woodbury, it wasn't a giant city. It was just a small little town that they kind of penetrated, so there wasn't as many walkers as in the city and, you know, stuff like this. Obviously, in Season 1, we've seen a metric fuck ton of walkers in uh, in Season 1 when Rick was kind of on the horse and, you know, stuff like that in Atlanta. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think there's going to be that big dangerous threat of just that many walkers and the fact that they're... Uh, trying to rescue them in a hospital, you know, they constantly got to watch their backs from for walkers and, you know, stuff like this. They can't just focus primarily on one group, uh, sneak in around the back of a town, a walled-in little town, and, uh, you know, take it out from there, have this big gunfight uh, in the streets and stuff like that. Obviously, that's not going to happen, you know, there's not going to be a giant gunfight in the streets because uh, there's walkers everywhere, and both groups obviously know this, uh, so they're going to kind of you know, it, it's going to be kind of like a stealthy type thing that they're going to be going in. That's why I think Rick has the suppressor on his gun. Uh, Daryl, obviously, he would have his crossbow. Uh, obviously, that's pretty silent. Uh, Tyrese has his hammer. That's pretty much as silent as they get. And, well, Sasha, she might just have another silenced pistol. Who knows? Uh, so, yeah, I do think that's going to be very, very cool. And I cannot wait, uh, basically, until that happens. You know, I, like I said, I do think that this episode is going to be focused on all three groups. And then in the next episode, it's going to be focused primarily on Rick's group, you know, getting this rescue mission done. Or I could be completely wrong, and they couldn't do this rescue mission right now, and then in the mid-season finale, uh, you know, start, uh, now that they have everybody rescued, maybe they'll start their way to Washington, D.C., they'll run into some problems, uh, maybe they'll come across to Alexandria, you know, that could be a thing too. Uh, but honestly, if I had to place my money on something, it would be the first theory that I had, uh, you know, the rescue mission taking place in the mid-season finale, but again, I could be wrong, and, uh, you know, it, it could play out the other way, you know, they could get this rescue mission done, uh, they could kill somebody, uh, you know, Dawn, which I think is kind of a level-headed person, in a way, you know, she's being influenced by these really, really bad officers now, um, that I think that if they take her entire group down, I think she would be tempted to honestly join them. Uh, there was another theory kind of going around the internet that uh, Don was actually maybe one of Rick's uh, officers, because uh, he was deputy sheriff. And uh, there's another theory going around that Don, like I said, was one of Rick's officers, and maybe they'll come across this, and uh, you know, Rick will notice this. He'll kill everybody else and leave her alive, and maybe maybe she'll join their group. I don't know exactly. I don't really see that per se happening right now unless that whole theory of uh you know her being one of rick's officers uh back before the zombie apocalypse unless that comes true i don't really see anybody joining uh from their group obviously other than the doctor i could probably see that happening uh if rick obviously allows that because, uh, I mean, it, it would be nice, obviously, to have a doctor in a zombie apocalypse, especially when they're on this road trip to D.C., or what they think is a road trip to D.C. now uh, is basically not uh, not happening anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to happen. You know, it's either going to happen in the mid-season finale, like a or it's going to happen in this episode. They're going to rescue people, start making their way to D.C., um, and maybe come across Alexandria somewhere on the way. You know, maybe there'll be a little bit of a time jump. 
uh, somewhere, and uh, they're going to come across Alexandria and get prepared for it. And it's just going to—I think it's going to leave us off with a cliffhanger. Obviously, it's going to be a pretty big cliffhanger on the mid-season finale. But it's not the mid-season finale, people. Yet it's two episodes. Two episodes left. Uh, episode seven and episode eight is the season—the mid-season finale. Uh, and then we take a break until February, unfortunately. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. It's The Walking Dead. It always happens. We should get probably used to it. I know it kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. Uh, if it all happened at once, it would be kind of boring and be over very, very quickly. And uh, you'd probably have to wait about a year uh, for the new episodes. I, I like waiting six months, personally, not a year. So, anyway, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, today's episode production video. If you guys do agree with any of the things I said in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you guys don't agree and you guys have your own theories, again, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And uh, I guess we can talk about it, you know. Uh, leave in the comment section, uh, and I'll maybe get down there and discuss it with you guys. You know, maybe we'll have a couple uh, thoughts pop into our heads and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to hit it up with a like. And uh, share it with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. All right, guys. Bye.